Using the explain analyze statement, you can better understand how your cluster responds to a query. Let's take a look at how CockroachDB responds to a query, how to understand the nodes and indexes involved in the query, and how to interpret the results. In CockroachDB, clusters take advantage of the distribution of your data when servicing a read. When you send a query to the cluster, the node you connect to directly is known as the gateway. The gateway routes your query to the leaseholder for all ranges that could hold relevant rows. The leaseholder scans the relevant section, and the gateway serves back the read. In the SQL shell, you can add the explain analyze tag to any SQL query. In the query response, you'll receive a link to the explain plan. From this explain plan, you can see that the vehicles table in node 2 contained the information for this query, and it used the table's primary index to locate it. It then passed that information to node 1, the gateway, which routed the response back to the client. Here are the results of a more complicated query on a larger data set with 10 million rows. The query finds any vehicles with battery less than 15%. You can see here that three nodes in the cluster were involved in the query. In the read step, each node read through the spans of the table for which it's the leaseholder. Node 3 read through 3.4 million rows. Once all the nodes have completed their reads, they each pass their data to node 1, which combines the output of all three nodes and finally responds to the query. Let's review. You can add the explain analyze tag to your queries to generate a physical explain plan. These plans detail which nodes and indexes were used to respond to a query. Information like number of rows read and the number of rows in the response are useful for understanding the execution of your queries.